Thank you. So what, what, what we heard Simon do just now, so he kind of started off with a straight eighth, uh, kind of a bossa nova groove. So at our stage in our career, when Simon plays that, we immediately know, okay, that sounds straight. He's playing the clave of a, of a bossa nova groove. So we knew right away to come in with a bossa nova. Then at the end of the first chorus, he started... Uh, swinging those eighth notes so it went from bop bit bop bit bop bit bop bit and then he started going so when we hear those swinging eighth notes we're like okay maybe he wants to start swinging then so we went into a swing groove and then uh after that the third chorus he started to kind of uh play double time which means if the yeah so if the quarter note is here one two three four He's kind of playing like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, double time. So when we heard that, we played a double time groove and we kind of went into more of a Latin double time groove. And then uh, in his last chorus, he kind of opened it up a little bit. More chordal, more open, atmospheric. So when we heard that, I'm gonna go more to the cymbals, we're gonna play more free, and everyone's gonna play longer notes and less rhythmic stuff. So that's just a perfect example of how one musician can dictate how the rest of us play and how we react and really be able to take the music wherever we want it to go. There's literally no limits. We could have kept going and just kept having different grooves and different styles and different feelings all within this one song. So as you can see, it's very powerful and you can do a lot of things that possibilities are endless within one song. So